So we have been seeing Qualcomm launching their slightly better variant of their existing flagship chip for a very long time now. This time we are also gonna see the same thing, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus. And this is going to be manufactured by TSMC using its own 4NM process node. Now the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is built by, personally, built by Samsung Foundry using their own much less efficient 4NM process node, which resulted in variety of thermal problems. Now, the reason Qualcomm's decision to leave Samsung Foundry for TSMC has to do with Samsung's poor yield as well. Now, according to past report, only 35% of the chips cut out from each wafer by Samsung using their own forward and process node do not pass Qualcomm's testing. Now, we already have global chip shortage. And on top of that, 35% of chips, which is a large number if you're talking about Qualcomm, that fail to become commercial grade Qualcomm chip for smartphones. That is kind of bad. It is kind of proven that Samsung Foundry isn't as efficient as TSMC. A major example is probably an Exynos processor if you compare it with a similarly specced Qualcomm processor. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus will be known as SM8475 and the chip will be introduced in May. So by the end of the month or in the following month, we should see the SoC in a variety of phones made by OnePlus, uh, the Motorola, the Xiaomi. And in addition to all these companies, we can also expect the Nothing Phone 1 powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus, thanks to Qualcomm and Nothing's close relations. Now, there is a reason why Qualcomm is making this chip. Qualcomm is really feeling that insane heat from the computers like MediaTek and its insanely efficient Diamond City 9000 chip, on top of the literal heat generated by the chip itself, thanks to Samsung Foundry. So yeah, and if you don't know, MediaTek is already a TSMC customer. Now the next chip from Qualcomm will also be made by TSMC, so yeah, so the thermal problems might just be resolved totally. That's great. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And thank you for listening to me. I appreciate that. And yeah. So finally, my latest Wave 2 series wallpaper pack is here. It is by far my best creation. This pack has 12 different very high resolution wallpapers custom made for modern desktops, tablets, and smartphones. You can visit my website, joindavid.com to check out where you're going to find a lot more tech news way faster than these videos. And definitely do hit the like button and do subscribe to this channel as well. Until the next one, bye and take care.